Hello, it's Jackie. I'm going to wait a couple minutes because it's almost 12 o'clock here and we will start our blog. Stay tuned. I'm going to get started today. It's about 12 o'clock and this is Jackie. Hi. We're going to talk on a very passionate subject I have today and I think you're going to enjoy it and that is aging with passion. Passion, real passion. Not like the old saying, age gracefully. That sounds like something that my grandmother would tell me to do. But I want to age with passion. You know, age is inevitable for all of us. It's just a question of how we accept it, really. You know, I remember back when I was a kid, and you could relate to this, when you couldn't wait to be old when you're a young kid and you see people driving in their car and you're about 13 and you're saying, God, I can't wait till I'm 16 so I can have my driver's license. Then when you're 16 and you get your driver's license, you said, gosh, I can't wait till I'm 18 and I'm gonna graduate from high school. And then after 18, I can't wait to go to college and move out on my own. And I can't wait to be an adult and have all the, the stuff that comes along with being an adult. Remember those days? Gosh, seems like a long time ago. Well, it felt like, you know, when we were kids, <laughs> I relate so easily, a month, a year. A month felt like a year, okay? Especially when you were told go outside and play, and we did, but time went slow. And now look at us, look at us how things have changed. I mean, my goodness, it's 2018 and it's already September. And you wanna know what? I can't believe the year went by this quickly. It's speeding, it's going really quick. And I don't know if it's because we're older, that time goes by faster, but I know one thing, um, I'm enjoying the ride right now. You know, whatever decade of my life, I've learned something. You know, I've made mistakes. We all have. And if we haven't made any mistakes, then you're missing out. Because the only way you actually grow and, and gain wisdom is to make mistakes and learn by them. Right? So, you know, I take mistakes and I, and, and I embrace them. I think back in my 20s and 30s and when I was younger and the stupid things I may have done. And, and I learned that I um, grew and didn't do the same thing again. You know, I posted something last night. And I don't know if you saw this post. And the post read, to be old and wise, first you must be young and stupid. How cool is that? It made so much sense because you have to. It's part of growing. You now when I look down, I think to myself and I say, you know, we're some of us, some of us are younger. The group may be in their 20s. We may have people in here in every different decade even in their 80s or 90s. You know what life is? Life is just time in motion. Think about it. It's not a dress rehearsal for sure. 
So we must grasp and embrace the time that we were given right now. I do. I'm sure some of you are thinking to yourself, oh yeah, right. How can I possibly feel so grateful and passionate about my life when it sucks? Now you may be going through some problems right now, whether they be medical, they could be a loss of a loved one, financial, divorce, it could be anything from your kids driving you crazy. And you're in a place that you really don't really want to talk about being passionate about your life. I gotcha. I've been there. That's life. But if you go with the flow and learn how to just have some humor with it, 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 it really does help. For all of my heart warriors that are out there right now, I know that you understand where I'm coming from. You've been in places that you weren't expecting. You may be just getting ready to go in for your open heart surgery or what other heart surgeries that you may be facing. And you might not be feeling as happy as you once were. But remember, time, it goes by. And, and it, you know, make the best of it. Keep moving. Keep moving. I could say that because I was there. I had open heart surgery. And in fact, I, in the last less than three years, I've had three near-death experiences. Three. And the first one started out with my open heart surgery. See, all of the setbacks and trials I had have really molded me into the person I am today. It really has. That's food for thought. After my open heart surgery, I never thought I'd be the same person again. And you want to know something? I wasn't. I had more gratitude. And I hope I became a more compassionate person. Because I lived through something so drastic as almost dying on that operating table. I learned how to, to love longer. If I loved you, I told you. I hugged strangers. I was so happy just to be here. I took the high road and I said, you know what? Okay, it happened and I'm going on and I'm getting older. Because three years went by so quick. I don't know. I don't know where it went. I don't worry about my extra wrinkles. I don't look at old pictures of myself and say, oh my God. I actually look at them in back in the day and I say, those were some good times. And, and you know, we had fun back then. But now it's time to move on and have new times and, and have fun. See, age, with age comes new experiences. There are times that, um, I'm going to tell you something. I remember the first time I got my AARP card. And um, as some of you are looking at me and they're laughing, whoop, the first thing you did, I threw it in the garbage. And I know that a lot of you could laugh with me. They sent you another one a couple years later. I don't know how it worked. I kept throwing them out. I didn't want to face that. But guess what? I like it. You should read it. You get a lot of perks. In fact, there's a lot of discounts on there that you might enjoy. So really, don't lose your sense of humor. Embrace where you are today. If I have some young people on this blog, I hope that I can pass on to them that someday they're going to age and they're going to get to the point where they notice their age is a lot more than, you know, 18, 21, all those milestones. But remember that with every age, with every year comes wisdom. Don't lose your sense of humor. If you lose your sense of humor, you lose your sense of self. Because that is what encourages us to continue to go. Um, it's a short journey. Do something. Today, do something out of the ordinary. 
get out of the hustle and bustle. Life gets all wrapped up in the, the, the hustle of life, bills, kids, you know, trying to make it. But you know what? We need to stop. And, and really, the old cliche is stop and smell the flowers. Just stop. Stop and enjoy life for a short period of time. Then go back to whatever you were doing. You wouldn't believe it, but it does make you feel a lot better. Today's Saturday. I live in Florida, by the way. And, and you know, it's a beautiful day. And I might just go to the beach and watch the seagulls and eat an ice cream cone. Hmm. All we're promised is right the present moment. Remember that. Don't forget it. You're not promised anything but right now. Smile at somebody. You know, that smile might be the only thing that that person will get for the whole day. So we're all connected. We're all the same. Just living our life in different levels. But go have some fun today. Play with your kids. Play with your grandchildren. Visit a lake. See nature. Go to a park. Whatever it takes, do something. Do something fun. The one thing you need to do, don't forget, go have an ice cream cone. With that being said, I hope you have a great weekend. This is Jackie. Until the next time, bye.